I want to learn how to be a furry artist. I've been looking at art, I've been looking at animation this whole time I've been on YouTube and I have never really dove into making it myself. So if I want to make animation, then I have to learn how to do art first. And if I want to learn how to do art first, then I have to learn how to do art. You know what I mean? I have to like learn how to do it. So today what I want to do, I have a tablet here, a drawing tablet. It's not actually a drawing tablet. It's a Microsoft Surface 3 from 2015 or so. I got a pin here. I'm going to practice drawing. I'm going to learn how to draw today. We're going to look at some art tutorials from around the internet and take a look. I've asked my Discord users to submit some art tutorials that I should follow. If you want to join my Discord server, there's a link down below. Please join it. I always ask my, my Discord members to submit ideas for videos, to submit things that I'll use in videos, such as the tutorials we're going to be following. They submitted them, so let's begin, shall we? Let's learn how to draw furries. We can begin with the classic, zillions. Tutorial, how to draw furries, almost half a million views. Damn, dude, that's pretty wacky crazy, fam squad. But before we begin, before we begin though, I'm looking at my canvas here. This is Fire Alpaca, I downloaded this. Now I'm no newbie to photo editing apps, but I don't ever draw, typically. I have done a couple live streams where I've drawn images, but typically I do photo editing. But I know that there's no canvas right now. We need to create a canvas. So let's create a freaking canvas, dude, shall we? I like to make my canvases 600 by six, no, no. I like to make them 6,000 by 6,000, but I'm gonna actually make this one 3,000 by 3,000 just because this is a really old tablet. I just don't know if it can keep up with such a high resolution as 6,000 by 6,000. This is higher than, than, I believe it's higher than, is this higher than 4K? I actually don't know. 350 DPI, I think that's, I think that's okay. I really don't know. I don't know what, which, what the best DPI is. We're gonna find out now, aren't we? <laughs> We're learning today, so. Hell yeah, let's go with it. All the artists in the comments are screaming because I probably did something wrong there. But you know what? It doesn't really matter how you do it. What matters is the end result. Does it look good or does it look bad? That's really what matters. That's a good action line. I like that action line. We, we'll, go, we'll go with that one. The first thing I'm gonna draw is I'm gonna draw three circles. One for the head. Wait, wait. I thought we were supposed to do like the, I thought we were supposed to do like that and then like, that's this. Wait, what? Okay, so we want three circles. Like one for the head, okay, like that. Okay, and then we want, oop. We can use like a, a smaller brush size there for the, for the head. Like that, and then we want one like for the for the middle, for the body, okay. And we want for for the the torso there. Okay. Good. We got our three <coughs> our three circles. Oh my god, we did this at Disneyland. Make it look a little bit more like a pear shape. They taught us how to draw um like so. the oh, what is it? Then kind of space out where they what is what is what's the oh what did they tell us how to draw? Baymax! This is how you draw Baymax! That's what they oh my god! Zillion knows how to draw Baymax. Zillion can work at Disney, dude. Hell yeah, that's like an upside down crosshair, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. And I'm just keeping it very loosey. What is what is this line he's doing? What is this so line? What is he doing there? Feet or the legs. To make it look more pencil like. The legs. What am I talking about? I don't know. I'm rambling on. I'm very nervous about this. This is the first video I've ever made. I'm afraid people are gonna think that I'm a loser. Oh, I kind of. Is this actually the first video that he ever made? Wait, wait, wait. Really? Pen died. What the hell, dude? Why does? Okay, there we go. Jesus freaking Christ. Or freaking Christ. Follow the action line. Okay, we got that. Hell yeah. So I'm just gonna draw the knees right here. Okay. So reference over here. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm, I'm lost. Are we doing this correctly? <laughs> Definitely not doing this correctly. That's okay. Just be loose about it. Be loose about it. Hell yeah. The bottom of the circle <laughs> as the air crotch region. Crotch region. And we're gonna use that as reference. Frick yeah. Just crotch to hashtag here. crotch region, dude. When I'm drawing them. They're perpendicular, meaning 90 degrees. Got so it. Right perpendicular. Here, got a perpendicular line and a perpendicular line there. Hell yeah. Our next. I feel like I'm at the Disney Art Academy at Disney's California Adventure, dude. Wow, Zillion, you should work there. <laughs> Whereas we're not drawing so like humans. Human humans suck. I hate right humans. Here. We're drawing nasty furries. Ew. Yeah, we'll but Zillion can draw anything. Look at that. Oh my god. Then Good. Then we're gonna do this one right there. Good. Okay. Good. So awesome. I'm doing such a good job. Oh Little my god. Circles. This is so here. good. I've done a really overweight furry, isn't it? <laughs> so in this case, we're going to do that. We're going to arc it. Oh, furry, yes. Arc Give the front. Arc the front, and okay. we're going to do... Rigatoni. Two arcs in the back, kind of like that. Okay. The spine. Because Where did my layer go? Oh, no. <laughs> so, that's, a, that's, a, that's a beginner mistake right there. When you hide the layer, everyone freaks the freaks out. I knew that that's what I did. I'm used to using GIMP, though. I don't usually use Fire Alpaca. So, you know, it is what it is. But I, you know, I have some experience, okay? I'm not a very, very beginner. I at least know how some programs work, okay? Because that just looks like you're sticking a stick up their butt. And if we follow Zillion. Them, all right. That, it flows off the action line. Mine flows pretty well, just, I will say. It kind of goes like, woo, it flows off the action line. It's pretty nice. Pretty, pretty good looking, like I so. will say. And it's very then, nice, very nice looking. A smile. It's a happy little tree. Happy little accident. This is a ha my happy little accident. Look at him. 
<laughs> I'm learning how to draw, dude. Wait, oh, that was terrible. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, wait, what the frick? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, good, that's how he's gonna look. Frick yeah, dude. Okay. He's dead inside. This character looks dead inside, it's great. Yeah, and mine does too, Zillion. Mine does too. Dog. This actually doesn't look terrible, but it's it also does at the same time. So now we're back what I'm doing here, and so. I'm All right, this is too advanced for me, speed. Zillion. This is too advanced. Well, damn, that's where Zillion got to. This is where I got to. <laughs> One, My two, angle is nothing like Zillion's right here. Okay. What the? What is he drawing though? Yeah, what structure is this? Draw. What the hell is he drawing? Like, what part of the now. body is this? What the hell is he doing? I don't even understand what's going on. Oh, I see. Okay, 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 okay I see. Why did I decide to do this with my life? Because <laughs> the aliens having existential crisis. You know, no, I feel the same way. Why am I doing this with my life? Good God, if you go back to the beginning of when my channel became a thing, if you could, if, if I knew that I would be doing this now, like unironically, I tell you that you're, I tell you that you're crazy. If you told me that I was going to be doing this now, I tell you that you were freaking crazy. You were out of your mind. But this is what I'm doing now. Unironically learning how to draw furry. <laughs> Shading. Shading. Boom. Hell yeah. There we go. This one's gonna be more of a, like, gray. No, it's gonna be a black. No, it's gonna be, like, a gray color. We're gonna give it a bit of a thicker brush. We're gonna kind of, oop. We're gonna use, an, like, an airbrush watercolor. I, do... Ooh, I actually don't know. So we're gonna use a pencil. We're gonna use a pencil. We'll give it just a little bit of shading here. Hell yeah! That's, and then we're gonna make it, hell yeah! Dude, that's how it's done. That's how you shade. We need, we need to add claws. We need to add some cute little clawsy wazzies. Oh, I love claws, guys. I love claws. They're so cute. Oh my god, look at those. Look at those claws. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, the thumb needs one also, dude. You can't just have a clawless thumb, you know what I'm saying? The thumb needs one as well. Look at that. Mm, that's so cute. That's so cute. <laughs> this is the dumbest furry ever drawn. Look at that. <laughs> Thanks, Zillion. I appreciate your help. I appreciate it. If only I was competent at following tutorials, then that'd be even better. All right, let's see if we can attempt to do what Zillion just did there. This is the only way I'm able to follow tutorials, really, honestly. I mean... But hey, at least my cup has a furry on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna actually try to ink this out here. Ink, quote unquote. Okay, let's put a new layer here. Ink. Good. Okay, it looks like it's fine there. I, I, I want it to be a little bit thicker though, probably. Like, a little bit thicker. So let's go in. Let's do this. Let's make it happen, shall we? I'd say that this is a great job. Good job. We did a fantastic. <laughs> I know how to draw furries now. Thank you, Zillion. How to draw furries? Juby Arts. Hey, if they can draw like this, then damn. We're in for a good tutorial. I can tell you that much. Let's give it a watch. A rectangular shape. Rectangular shape, okay. So you draw the rectangular shape. Make sure it cuts into the side of the um the circle that you created. Okay, I can do that. I can do that, no problem. Good? Good, good. Very nice. Those are some tall ears. You know, here's a thing. I really like tiny, small ears. I don't know why. I think they're really cute. Like, small ears. Like, smaller than usual. A lot of people like big ears. I like small ears. I'm gonna I'm gonna take what, what, what this person is saying, and I'm gonna see if I can adapt it to make them small ears. See if I can apply it. We'll see, we'll see, what, we'll see what happens. Let's try it out. I like where, we're, where this is going. I like where this is going quite a bit. This is actually quite a good tutorial. It's actually a very good tutorial, geez. I really like this person's art style. They're really good at art. They're really good at teaching art also. I'm actually learning quite a bit from this one. <laughs> now that I didn't learn anything from Zillion. Zillion did a great job also. Okay, 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 okay. hold on, hold on. I gotta, gotta erase. Gotta erase! Arrgh, we don't need this anymore, disgusting! Hell yeah, eyebrows are hot, dude. I like eyebrows. I'm glad that there's eyebrows, honestly. Whee! Mouth shape, ooh. See, I don't know. I, that was a little bit too smiley for me. I kind of want to make it like, um, cause like I know that it comes like down from like there, so I want it. I want it to be like maybe like, <laughs> no, no, no. Maybe like a very slight amount of smiling, but not like not like a crazy ass amount. You know what I'm saying? Not not as much as this. Cheek floof, gotta have the cheek floof. It's actually coming along really nicely. I'm actually really excited about this. <laughs> I'm wanting to draw furries. I have always wanted to be an artist. I've always wanted to learn how to draw furries and learn how to like do it. I've just never had the time to get around to it. And I really wanna, oh, I can start doing like missions, dude. Oh, 
Hell yeah. All right. Okay, we can do that. We can add some more curvature. But I don't want it to be too cartoony and too, like... You know, not too, like, interesting looking. Wait, what? Oh, what? oh, geez. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. My God! How are people this good at art, dude? Okay, so it's time to ink this thing. Let's do it. Let's see if we can create something that is as good as what we need here. That is an eraser. Let's make this happen. Let's stroke this. Let's stroke this out. That's my furry. I did it. I did a furry. It actually doesn't look too bad, but it's also like copying exactly what this person did. So can I really, can I really say that I did a good job? You know what I'm saying? It's good to learn this way. It's good to learn this way, but I, did I really draw this myself? No, I followed a tutorial. And one last tutorial from Ash Coyote, how to draw furries. Let's see if we can learn how to draw furries after only three tutorials. Can we become a master at art of the furry variety? The answer is no, we cannot. We gotta practice over time and improve as an artist over years and years of practice and building up skill, but I wanna do it now. I wanna do it now. That's what I wanna do. I wanna learn how to do it now. Okay, drawing a circle, okay. Uh, okay, so good. Foxes, foxes do have cheek floof, that is true. Foxes cheek floof, wait, wait, slow down, slow down. Oh my God. Oh my god, whoa. The camera angle change is, is beautiful, but it makes it harder to follow along. Hold on. Um, oh, what the- how the hell do you do this so quickly? How is this so quick? Did I just draw a furry? That's so weird. That's so crazy. Jeez, here's an example of full-ass dragon. Oh my god. Imagine being able to, like, draw. <laughs> imagine being good at art, right? That's something that I can't imagine because I'm not good at art. But my goodness gracious. It's a skill. Art is definitely a skill. It's a skill that takes years to learn. It's a skill that takes hours and hours and hours, hundreds of thousands of hours you have to put in to really learn how to become a real artist, how to, how to you know, get to the point where you can consider your art to be, like, good, you know? It takes so much time, so much work. It really is a craft. It really is a skill, and it really is something magical. That's why art and that's why animation are so great. But despite all that, despite all the time that I've spent on my <laughs> on my drawings, they're not very good. They're not very good from what I've, what I've done here today. So what really matters the most is the end product. The time and effort and all the work that you put into it doesn't even matter. What matters is, is the end result. My end result needs some improvement. Definitely needs some work. Definitely needs to be worked on. That's what I'm gonna do. So if I want to become an artist, I gotta put in these hours, I gotta put in this work, and I gotta start practicing. Start practicing, start drawing things, look at references, look at different people's tutorials, Tutorials, look at how other people draw, kind of learn a little bit. It takes a while. It takes a while to do. So gotta get from this to something that looks good like what we see here in this video, you know? It's an exciting journey. I don't know, art has kind of interest, interested me a little bit recently. I don't know. It's been kind of something that's drawn me in. I want to learn how to draw, especially furries. It would be nice to know how to draw furries, you know? So I'm glad that we took this first step watching some beginner tutorials on how to draw furries. So hopefully we can move on from that and start doing more and more things. Once I learn how to do art. <laughs> Once I learn how to do furries, you know. All right, thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to follow my Patreon. Yay, patrons are on your screen. Amazing. Just $2 per month is all it takes. Patreon.com forward slash PKRUSSL. Join my Patreon. Patrons get access to most of my videos early. If I remember to post them early, $5 or more patrons get access to exclusive videos once per month exclusively for five dollar or more patrons and all patrons also have access to a once per month live stream exclusive to patrons and channel members check it out link is down below every little bit of support helps so much everyone who's a patron is amazing become a patron today become one today so that you can be amazing as well what should i learn how to draw next we've learned furries not really because i still don't know how to draw furries but you know what i'm saying what should i learn how to draw next leave a comment down below thank you for watching everyone bye